Yeah. I think it's a little lag. Okay, good. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? It's okay. Go. Oh, it's very lagged. Very, very lagged. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, let's see. If this doesn't work, we'll just count it. We'll start again. But um, let's see okay. if this latency issue becomes yep. an issue. Um, so, uh, talking about swing and the difference between uh, playing something swung in a rhythmical sense relative to playing something straight in a rhythmical concept, rhythmical sense. Okay. Yeah. Last week we, we, we kind of touched on it a little bit. This week I'd like to to um, go into delve into it a little bit more and uh, approach it from a, a kind of a, a, a slightly more detailed uh, yep. standpoint. Okie dokie. Okay. So last week. Last week I used the, the piece of paper analogy. Yeah. Okay, so the, the piece of paper representing a one beat or a, a crotchet within your bar. Okay? Yeah. So the the one thing that we need to remember when we're dealing with rhythm and, and counting and all of this kind of stuff, but it's something that is very, very uh, easy to forget, and a lot of people do, is that the, the concept of one beat is not an ambiguous concept. Um, that one beat has a starting point and it has a, has a finishing point. So if we're talking about beat one in a bar, the starting point is when I say one, okay? Yeah. So that concept of beat one is not a, a vague, uh, it's around about there. It, it is when I say one or when I click one or when we tap one or whatever, but whenever there is, a, is some kind of reference to one, that's when the beat starts, and the beat finishes whenever I say two, or there's a second click, or a second hit of something, okay? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's really important then to understand that, that a beat has a starting point, it has a duration, a body, and then it has an end, okay? Mm -hmm. Cool? Yep. So. If we think about it that way, I'm going to take this beat, this one beat, and I'm going to fold it in half. And now I've divided my crotchet into two even halves. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, beat one is still here, and the end of beat one is still here, but I now have a, a clear division in the middle. Alrighty? So, what that does is that separates my beat into two very even halves that are now playable as even halves, and it gives that definition in the middle an exact location. Yeah. So to, to split my, to split my, if I was to say to you to split anything into two halves, it means that the half, the half is, is, is generally an equal quantity to its opposing half. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you split an apple in half, they're two equal halves, not three quarters and a quarter or one third and two thirds, etc, etc. So that's the definition of a half. So here I now have two quavers, right? Yeah. And they're, they're both of equal length. With me? Yes. Yes. Right. And when, we, when we're playing that, sorry? I said quaver, that's the word. <laughs> quaver, yes. Right. Quaver cool. equals half of the budget. <laughs> so when we... Um, When we're playing the quavers or we're counting the quavers, we count them as one and two and three and four and. That separates a bar of four, four into eight individual parts, which is four crotchets or four beats divided yeah. in half. Okay, so, and the, the most important thing about that is they're nice and even. Most of the rhythmic stuff that we've played at this point in time has been uh, even quavers. Everything's been really straightforward and, and regimented. And all that we've done is we've either held certain notes for, for longer than a quaver or we've, we've cut them off at, you know, at, at, at that quaver length to create some kind of a definitive uh, rhythm, a rhythmic pattern that suits the song that we're playing. All right? But if you were to play a bar of straight quavers, then it would sound something like one and two and three and four and. So can you do that for me now? Can you just play a bar of straight quavers on any chord you like? Good, 
right, okay, excellent. Can you do it again this time, count yourself in? Um, one and two and three and four and Okay, not bad. Pretty good. So, moving back now. So that's that's our straight quavers, what we hear most of the time. Yeah. So now we move into this concept of, of swing. Okay, now swing is just a different approach to playing those quavers, but they're not quite quavers. The reason I the reason I say that they're quavers is because if you see the written on a score, they'll be written as stand. Every day. You're breaking up a little. Quavers that you would see. It was in a, the, the only thing that you're going to get to notify you that the song is, is swung is a performance note that says swing. Okay? Yeah. And that's not swung. All the, that you're going to get on a chart is the notification. Can you hear me, Angie? You're there still? A little bit. You're breaking up a little bit, but it's. It sometimes is good and then sometimes bad. Right. Um, anyway, <laughs> can you hear me before? No, nah, you broke up then. <laughs> uh, right, okay. I'm going to pr proceed one or speed. Uh, and if, um, if you can't understand the thing that I'm saying, then just tell me and we'll stop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, so, while we do view these quavers as, as being quavers, then they're, they're not technically quavers. They're not half a beat in length, okay? They're slightly altered in, in some way, okay? So, the, basically, the way that they're altered is the first of two quavers. So, what we would consider in beat one, we would consider this the one portion of this and of the beat, and then that's the and portion of the beat. So, one and. So the one portion of the beat is now longer than the and portion of the beat. Okay. Now, to some people, you can say that and they go, oh, okay, cool, and they feel their way through it and, it and it starts to make sense. If you're not one of those people who can just feel a longer quaver and then a shorter quaver, so the difference between one and two and three and four and, which is straight, versus one and two and three and four and, okay, then you may need some kind of a theoretical element to kind of get you through. So, by utilizing this piece of paper, which I'm still holding up here very diligently, <laughs> um, the best way to think about swung quavers is to think about them like this. So, I'm going to take this one beat, and instead of dividing it evenly into two, I'm going to divide it into evenly into three, or as evenly as I can possibly manage. Okay, so now my piece of paper is divided into three. Okay? Yep. Right, so before you can still see the middle line that we were using before, that one and line. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do, because we've got sort of three parts to our beat, instead of counting it one and, we're going to count it one and a. Uh. Okay? Yeah. So now, basically, our, our beat needs to stay the same, our pulse needs to stay the same, but instead of counting one and two and three and four and, we need to count yeah. one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Now, can you do me a favor and just try to try to play that for me? Now, the way that I want you to do it is I want as 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 much as humanly possible. This can be as slow as you like or as fast as you like. Yeah. But basically, I want you to play the one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh, but I want you to do it in a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up kind of scenario. Okay. Okay. So. Am I playing on it like one and it and R? So one, the end and the R, or am I playing Yes, you're playing the one, the and and the R, all three all three. So down, down, up, okay. Down, down, up. Cool. So and the, the, the one thing to remember, the one thing to keep in mind is that we have to have a constant pulse. We have to have a beat that goes through this. So 
if it's you're playing a G chord, right? So if it's one, two, three, four, we're gonna have one down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, one and up, two and up, three and up, four and up, one, two, three, four, one and up, two and up, three and up, four and up. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It's a little no, bit tricky. Am I, try, am I trying to make it sound swung? Or no, not at all. Not at all. All we're really doing at this point in time is we're dividing mm -hmm. each beat into three, into what okay. we call triplets. Okay? Yeah. Go for it. So, one and, uh, okay. Okay, cool. Stop. So, you're, you're playing three individual, there's three individual strums in every beat, but what you're doing, you notice that, you might notice that your first strum is longer than the other two? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that all three, all three need to be even. One, two, three, one, two. Still, it's still longer than the others. You, at the moment you're going... Yeah. <laughs> see how see how that that first one is longer. So we need to change this into okay, just do the same thing. Yeah, just come up on the R. You're rushing the art. The art is rushing. Okay? Yeah. Still rushing. That's still longer than the first one. Yeah. So it's just about evening them out. One and a, uh, one and a, uh, 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 uh. Okay, good. So at that tempo, your beat is here. That two, three, four. Okay. So it's it's good. Everything that you're doing is a hundred percent correct. It's just now needs to be sped up a little bit in order to get the sense of, of, of the swing. So Now you've reverted back to the to the yeah. longer one. Okay. So what I would do is actually start slow and then sp gradually speed up. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, still got the long again. Still got the long one. So one and uh one and uh yeah. Same thing. Pardon? Same thing. That's still still the long one. Okay. Count. Do me a favour. Count yeah. a bar of one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, one and a. Uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, that's it. <laughs> one and one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, okay. Cool. So hold on, hold on, hold on. now yep. you that was that's that, the beat one was great. What, yep. What's happening now? So this is the hardest part about playing any musical instrument. The hardest part by far, which is. Just the coordination and the concentration factor, because yeah. what's happening at the moment is you you have a default setting, which is yeah. to play straight. To and yeah. to, what we're doing now is we're dealing in groups of three, yeah. Which is a, which is a whole thing, and it's a it's very much a feel thing. It creates a totally different feel to the music. Okay, so yeah. your default setting though is to work in groups of two or groups of four. 
Yeah. So what's happening is you're defaulting to the group of four rather than focusing on the group of three. You're, yeah. and you're, you're starting to count. You, you counted it correctly, and then you played the first beat correctly, and then your hands took over, and your yeah. brain and your mouth followed your hand. And it actually became a, it became a subconscious thing, not necessarily <laughs> something that you're focusing on. Okay. You fell into that comfortable comfortable mode. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let's try it again. So, unfortunately, I mean, I can't really count with you because there's too much of a lag. But yeah. um, so let's try this one and uh, count yourself in again. Give yourself a whole bar. Yeah. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. One, so, <laughs> sorry, um, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, I'm going up there. Yeah, okay, good. Well, let's let's just try that for the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so, one and Okay, can you gradually speed it up as you go? Ah, I've stuffed it. <laughs> Notice how there's a long one and a short one? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's look, it's 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 almost there. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Right, let's let's stop for a moment. Don't don't worry about about speeding it up just yet. Let's just play it nice and slowly where we can actually get it. I think the slower we do it, the more we we have time to kind of concentrate on on doing it. Okay, so let's get it. Yeah. So we want that one, two, one, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh. That's still a long one. Am I still going long? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, and uh, Okay, good. So you're still going long. But what's, it's not so much that you're, that you're lengthening the first one. I think it's that you're jumping in too soon on the last one. Cool. Um, I think it's because I'm used to just going like yeah. so. That's the, yeah, because I end up working in twos. Okay. Look, let's try let's try another let's try another tack for a second. So rather than rather than try to work that because that's what's the, the issue now is the physicality of your right hand. Your right hand is used to a certain movement, and I'm yeah. asking you to do something that's that's contrary to everything it's ever done before in its entire life. But <laughs> what I, I'm going to jump ahead. And then Sorry. come back a little. That's okay. okay. I'm, do it. So, the reason for me doing that is because when we go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up in a nice even fashion, what that does is that gives me my three distinct parts of the bar, right? I'm oh, sorry, my three distinct parts of the beat. My three distinct parts of the beat. It gives me one and Ah, okay. Yeah. Now, to make a rhythm sound swung, or to make a rhythm swung, is is basically as simple as just playing one, missing the and, and playing the ah, okay? Yeah. So, what that would mean for us then is it's, it's still a down and an upstroke, but it, the upstroke is kind of on the R uh, rather than on a halfway point on, on the and. Cool? So if we yeah. think about it as one, R, uh, two, R, uh, three, R, uh, four, R, uh, one. Cool? So what I'm talking about then is this. So basically what we were doing before was this down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay? If I count that out, it's one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, right? 
Yeah. If I get rid of the and out of all of that, it becomes one, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four, ah, uh, one, ah, uh, two, and ah, uh, three, and ah, uh, four. Cool? Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't sound like much at this tempo, but if I speed that up, we get one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Cool? Yep. Okay, yep. so now I get it. I just have to do it. <laughs> yeah, so that's but that's what this lesson is all about. This lesson is all about basically explaining the concept giving you some tools with which to get your head around the concept and then you going away and kind of working on it. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. So it's basically a crutchet divided up into three rather than divided up into two and you end up playing the first part of the first division and the third division. Okay? Mm -hmm. So yeah, of a one and a, uh, we just play the one and a. Uh. One and that, like that. So we end up with this long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long kind of scenario. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does make sense. Okay. Cool. So it's a it's a difficult thing to to do, and it's a difficult thing to get one's head around. Um, what I would suggest is what I might do is I might throw a whole heap of songs. Uh, yeah. Into our Dropbox folder that yeah. have that kind of swung feel. Um, so I don't think the ones I put in there were really swung. Maybe my Bob Dylan one I put in there was, but okay, let's have a look, shall we? I don't. I think that I put. I think it was Leopard Print Pillbox Hat. I don't know. I forget which one I put in there. Uh, leopard leopard skin pill box hat. Let's have a listen yeah. to this. I don't know. I, I may. I just think I get confused between it sounding kind of funky and <laughs> now that you've just played what you played, I don't think it is anymore. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's still loading. But hold on a sec. Uh. <laughs> Okay, that's perfect. Cool. Yes. Okay. So that's kind of a there's there's a very um, the difference between a, a swing feel and what we call a shuffle feel is really kind of difficult to explain. But basically, they they operate under the same premise to some extent. Uh, yeah. The the concept of shuffle just sort of comes in in different styles and genres of music, but. Um, the same kind of thing. But if I was to play this again and count it out for you, um, you'd hear what I'm talking about. So if you were to count this, you would count it as two, three, four, one, two, three, uh, which is one and two, a uh, three, a uh, four, a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four. Cool? Yeah. So and now if I count straight over the top of that, you'll hear how it doesn't fit. So, one and two and three and four and 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 one and two. But it's swing it Cool? Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay, so and that's so that yeah, that song is a great kind of example of what we're after. Um, yeah. So um, hold on a second. I'm having a moment. Okay. I think. I okay. Now that song is basically an A chord, a D chord, and an E chord. Yeah. Cool. So you yeah. should, you might you might you might even be able to play over the song or play with the song. Mm -hmm. um, just add that one. Cool. So. Okay. Yeah. There's a little bit more to it than just A, D, and E, but that will kind of get you through a large portion of the song at this point in time. At least enough to just practice the strumming pattern. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 
Cool. All right. Now, keeping in mind that everything that we've done today is, again, it is a difficult concept. It's uh, especially if we're if you you're not kind of surrounded by it and having to utilize it all the time. You know what I mean? If you're not having yeah. to play a bunch of songs or you're having to listen to a bunch of songs that have that sort of swing feel. Um, uh, the generally our default setting for popular music is is a straight four four, you know. So um, this is a slightly different concept. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, so what's going to happen then is um, I'm going to end our broadcast now, but I'm not going to end the end the call. So just give me two seconds. Okay.